got a maneuver plan that intercepts the Mun. Now we just need to execute that maneuver and fly to the Mun ourselves. Whenever we have a maneuver plan, a burn timer will appear. The timer shows you how much time is left until we need to execute the maneuver. I've paused the simulation for a moment, so this number won't count down quite yet. The timer also tells us how long we'll need to burn our engines at 100% throttle in order to complete the maneuver. Now let's take a look at the nav ball. A new marker has joined our old prograde and retrograde markers. This is called a maneuver marker, and it shows us the orientation of our planned maneuver. We'll want to make sure that this marker is in the center of our nav ball during our maneuver burn. Luckily, we can aim at this maneuver marker by selecting the maneuver button on your SAS controls. Now your vehicle is properly oriented. And through the magic of SAS and more math than I'd like to admit, our vessel is properly oriented. We're still far from our planned burn, so let's speed things up. While we could rely on our reflexes to time warp at the perfect moment, a less stressful alternative is warping to a specific point in our orbit. See this button? Select it to warp automatically to the moment before our maneuver begins. Departure burn, here we come. Great! We've exited just before our maneuver burn, and I've paused the simulation once more. After we select continue, remember to wait until the countdown reaches zero. Then we'll go full throttle until our burn timer reaches zero. Then cut the throttle quickly to avoid overshooting our target. Okay, get ready to hit the throttle. Watch the burn timer. We want to stop our burn once it reaches zero. Everything's looking great. Cut the throttle. Great work. You've successfully executed a maneuver. And now we're on our way to the Mun.